Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Yakuza 3 playthrough. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we are going to be playing a full playthrough of Yakuza 3 because, frankly, I really want to play this game. Uh, the plan is to play this and the other Yakuza's as we get closer to Yakuza 7, which I'm planning a very full playthrough of. Uh, this playthrough coming up is going to be primarily main story. We will be at least checking out all the mini games and stuff, but I don't know if we're going to be doing all the side quests and everything. And also, I wanted to have a quick little note about what we're doing with the difficulty. So my plan was to play this game on hard, as I normally do. As you guys know, in most cases, when I have a difficulty selection, I like to play on the hardest difficulty. It's the most fun. However, there's a couple factors here that are going to have us play on normal this run. Um, first of all, my time is very limited. Uh, we have a big Terraria update coming out soon that I'm going to be dumping a lot of time into. We've got um, another game, a, a few other games I want to play towards the end of the month. We've got to get Last of Us done before Last of Us 2. There's a lot of stuff coming up, so I don't want to spend too long uh, dying over and over as I tend to do on the hardest difficulties. Also, when I, when I did tweet out my interest in playing this game, I had many, many people tell me that the hard difficulty on this game is a little wonky. The ways that it's hard is a little strange. So for instance, when you put this game on the hard difficulty, apparently it just makes the bosses and enemies block a lot more, which you can't really do much about. So the hard difficulty just makes you kind of like draw out the fights and it opens your character up to like getting hit for a lot harder. And then you have to restart these long drawn out fights. So what I was told essentially is putting hard mode on in this game is a time extender for gameplay, which is kind of exactly what I'm not looking to do right now. So we are gonna go ahead and play this game on normal and, um, we're going to see how it is. So I wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit at the beginning and go from there. Let's do it. System data for the Yakuza series has been found. Received Ukiyo Bell as a present. Great. System data from Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise, has been found. Received Gold Plate as a present. System data for Judgment has been found. Received Gold Plate as a present. I love these games so much. This is a work of fiction. Everything in this story is true. Please take it all as guaranteed fact and check Wikipedia for details. Uh, I'd also like to say that as I normally do try to play my games in English, this is one of the few games that I will not be doing that in. Okay, there we go. Damn, starting quick this time, aren't we? Meanwhile, in Chinatown... え、
先日お断りしたはずじゃええそうですこの件登場会は一切手引かせてもらいますだから断ると言ってるんだたとえ100億200億積まれても答えは同じだそれじゃあ会長うん今の電話例の沖縄の一件では本当に断っていいのでしょうかどういう意味だお言葉ですが今本家は直径白鵬会の上がりでやっていけてる状態ですもしあの沖縄の一件うちが引き受ければこの先10年は食っていけるだけの金が本家になだれ込みますざっと見積もって1000億いやそれ以上の金が Sounds like a good deal. それに今あの男に恩を売っておけば後々正解との強いパイプが黙れそんなことは百も承知だだがあの土地は奪えねえ四代目の剣ですか登場界は四代目に何度も救われてきたその人から居場所を奪うことはできねえ<笑>おいはい急いで本部へ戻ってくれえ会長会食のご予定はどうされるんですかキャンセルだそれより今沖縄の土地買収を勝手に進めるような連中が出ないよう組織を固める方が先決だ I can't remember is Kiryu the fourth chairman or chairman and is this about his is this dude being a total bro to Kiryu it's been a while since I played Yakuza Kiwami 2 and a lot happens in that game yes that is what happens okay so this dude is trying to be a total bro to Kiryu right now interestingly enough Kaijo Nanda oh wait 実は先ほど会長にお客様が誰だそれが何本当ですどこからどう見てもご本人としか言いようがありませんどこに今会長室にお通ししてあります This is Daigo Oh yeah Oh yeah わかった <laughs> This is the guy we put in charge at the end of the last game. Yeah. He's a total, they're, they're total bros. Also, what's funny is I got to admit, if Kiryu was told about the situation and was like, we need you to move so we can save the Tojo clan, he'd probably be like, oh yeah, cool. Kazuma-san. <laughs> Wait. What? This is important. だからあなたに代わって私たちが権利書を取ってきたんですどうしてそのことを今我々は登場会に沖縄の土地買収の件から降りてもらうわけにはいかないんですだがだが俺はあの沖縄の一件もう手を引くと決めたんだあなたは登場会の六代目三万人の構成員を養うにはそんなことはいらないでしょう。I mean, dude, Kazuma's right. I mean, he's got to be thinking more than himself here. 
And Kira, you would probably be cool with it. それでも俺が断ると言ったら。それは困りましたね。Shit, man, are you serious right now? Wait, what? Ojiki Nagara, Ima, Shuzu Stems, Torada, Oyashiro, Yotaiwa. Sakicha. サキお前は大丈夫だったのかハンニは割れてんのかい,いえお嬢と二人きりのところを襲われたんで。ハラニー、スワツ、クラタミデレ。Yeah. Yeah. どこかの組の会社か。い,いえ。You have no idea. <laughs> 土地買収の絡みです。事務所から例の土地の権利書がなくなってました。何？絶対玉城組の連中に決まってる。奴ら一年前のことで、俺たちを逆恨みして。いや、それがどうも違うみたいで。ん？どうしたんださっき？誰ですか？これは。こいつが撃ったのか。He knew instantly. え、こ、これって。兄貴、こいつ、兄貴が知ってる人なんですか。I got him, and I'm so glad this got established at the beginning. 俺の死んだ親父、風間の親父さんだ。What the? F like what? What? <laughs> oh my lord, dude! Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe this intro. Jesus, man. Um. <laughs> oh wow! Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this game, this game hit the floor running, didn't it? Buckle up and enjoy, Ko. I'm gonna try, dude. My lord, still fumbling with my seatbelt right now. You can get to that later, though. I assume you'd like to pay respects to the people you've lost first. Yeah, it might be nice to stop for a second and reflect on everything that's happened. Oh my god, it feels good to be back in this game. Oh, dude, are we gonna get like a little. Okay, hold on, let's start here. Terada, you were one of the. Uh, Terada, you were one of the leaders of the Kansai Yakuza conglomerate known as the Omi Alliance. Despite working with our rivals, you owed Kazama san a huge debt, leading you to try and stop the Tojo clan's infighting over the missing 10 billion yen. After seeing the kindness and generosity in your heart, I decided to leave the Tojo clan in your hands. To protect the weakened Tojo from the Omi Alliance, you opened to opted to call a truce with their leader, Jin Goda. These are previous games,、uh, previous game plots, but it was all part of a plot to take revenge for the Jingwan massacre over the 20, oh, for over 20 years earlier. Even so, You owed your life to Kazama san. That's why I chose to believe you when you asked me to trust you as you died. Because of you, Tarada, I learned to never give up on people, even when things take a turn for the worse. I hope someday the Tojo clan becomes the kind of organization you always wanted it to be. Until that day, watch over them, please. Nishiki. As long as I can remember, you were my friend and my brother. We were both taken in by Kazama san at Sunflower Orphanage and joined a Yakuza organization called the Dojima family, led by Patriarch Sohei Dojima. But when Yumi got kidnapped, you murdered Dojima. 
and threw all our lives into turmoil. I decided to leave Yumi with you and spent 10 years in jail after taking the fall for the murder you committed. I sacrificed the world for you, yet Yumi's disappearance and your sister's illness led you down a path of despair. <laughs> when I saw you again 10 years later, you were a changed man. All you cared about was becoming chairman of the Tojo clan. In the end, you and I fought over the 10 billion yen that had been stolen from the Tojo. Even still, you sacrificed yourself to save me. I wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for you. Rest in peace, Nishiki. You were a great friend right until the very end. Man, that... That progression from zero, the last line of that, was one of the crazier relationship progressions I've ever seen in gaming. Like, it was, it was just... Like, that, that one cutscene in Yakuza 0, I will remember for the rest of my life. And I do not remember a lot of things. But man, I tell you, dude, to go to go from where they ended up to from that point is just like, man, I tell you, it still it still gets me verklempt just thinking about that scene. I tell you, Yumi, I still think back to the time me, you, and Nishiki spent at the Sunflower. Sure had some fun, huh? Even after Nishiki and I joined up with the Dojima family, we never stopped spending time with you. Serena, the bar where you worked, ended up our favorite hangout spot. Three of us were happy then. Looking back on it now, it almost feels like a dream. Then on that fateful day, Sohei Dojima kidnapped you, and you had to watch while Nishiki murdered you. The shock of it all caused you to lose your memory. Murdered him, excuse me. Before you had regained it, though, you met a diet member named Kohei Jingu and conceived a child with him, Aruka. God, that was a messed up story, wasn't it? Once you recovered your memory and learned from Jingu's plan, learned of Jingu's plan, and you left Haruka at Sunflower and began working with Chairman Sarah and Kazama-san to stop him. Yumi, there's so much I wish I had gotten the chance to say to you. I'm sure the same goes for Haruka. So, we'll be back to visit again, I promise. Kazama-san. <clears throat> How could I repay you for everything you did for me? Even though you were a ranking Tojo officer, you devoted your life to Sunflower Orphanage and raised me and the other kids like they were your own flesh and blood. And when I got expelled from the clan and sentenced to 10 years in jail for the murder of Sohei Dojima, you were the one of the only people who didn't abandon me. Then when I finally got out of prison, you used the Kazuma family to protect me from all the Tojo men who were out for my head. You even laid down your life to save Haruka. <coughs> After your death... <coughs> I took over as fourth chairman of the Tojo clan and managed to put a stop to the infighting. But I wanted to wash my hands of the Yakuza life, so I installed Terada as the fifth chairman. Like me, he owed you a massive debt. That wasn't the end of my involvement, though, as I came back into the fold to deal with the Jingwan Mafia's plot for revenge. See, some Jingwan members spared... You spared 20 years ago wanted revenge on the Dojima family for their downfall, but I managed to thwart their plans. And now the Tojo's at a crossroads yet again. But I have someone in mind to take over. Someone I trust to lead the clan back down the right path. Rest in peace, Kazama-san. You deserve that much. And thank you for everything. That was a good, that was a good way to recap it. I like that. Me. Are you finished, Kiyu-san? I am. I've done all I need to. All right, I guess you'll be leaving then. Yep. Heading down to Okinawa tomorrow morning. You know, I never pegged you as the kind of guy to start an orphanage. It's been a dream of mine to take care of kids, though, just like Kazuma-san did for me back when I had nowhere to uh, for me when I had nowhere to turn. A textbook Kazuma Kiryu response if I've ever heard one. But why Okinawa? There's a place there with ties to Sunflower. When their old manager died, they asked me if I knew anyone who might be able to lend a hand. And you decided that person should be you. It seemed like the perfect opportunity. There aren't many opportunities for an ex Yakuza out in the wild, anyway. I hear Okinawa's beautiful, too. Yeah, and the orphanage is right down by the beach. You should come visit when you get a chance. I'd love that. But I doubt I'll be able to for a while. Why's that? Well, I'm actually leaving the country. Tomorrow. Or two. The U.S. They're starting a training program for a new branch of the Metropolitan Police, and they've asked me to be an instructor. Is it really that simple? They'd probably try to stop me if I said more. Might be best just to leave it at that. That kid's eyes are huge. Well, she's got to fit the Kawaii emote. 
Right, well, I can't say I'm not happy for you. It's good to see you following your heart. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. And besides, I don't think you'd like it very much if I turned them down to stay with you. Guess not. There's still a lot I want to accomplish as a police officer, Kiyu san. Career goals, you know. And I think America is the best place for me to do that. You're probably right. Kazuma. So let's go our separate ways, for now. I'll come find you once I've done what I need to do, okay? Promise. It's a promise. By the way, shout out to William Wall. Happy birthday, my dude. ま、仕方ないでしょう。さやまくん。一家だと私は来月続けて4課から1課へ戻ります。極道相手の4課じゃ全ても殺人事件を扱うエリートコースの1課じゃ全ませんからね。昇進したのか。良かったじゃないか。いやいや。そういうわけでもありませんよ。う
お前もなじゃあ行ってくる Oh man, this is setting up to be so good. This is setting up to be so good. Why,、uh, no English BA? No, bye bye. no English BA.、Um, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I know Kiryu with the, the Japanese BA. That's just, that's just the Kiryu I know. So I think I'm going to be playing Yakuza 3, 4, 5, and possibly even 6 in,、um, in the Japanese BA. そんなことはないさまたいつでも帰ってこられるどうした We may check out English in 7 though Maybe 今日は If there's an English VA at all 思いっきり遊びたいおじさんと一緒に遊びたいダメわかった好きなだけ遊ぼうな I actually really enjoyed the English VA for judgment. I don't care what you say or what you think. I'm sorry. I love you, but I don't care. I liked the judgment English VA. And since the same studio is making seven, if they, if they do go that far again in seven,、um, then I think I could totally do it. So, <clears throat> but we'll see. Maybe they aren't even going to have it. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 